Understanding the phrase, in one's own flesh. Hello and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting phrase, in one's own flesh. This video will break down its meaning, usage, and give you examples to help you understand and use this phrase confidently in your conversations. Let's get started. The phrase, in one's own flesh, is not as commonly used as some other English idioms, but it's quite vivid and descriptive. It means experiencing something personally or physically. When someone experiences something in their own flesh, they are undergoing the experience directly, often feeling it in a physical or emotional way. This phrase is somewhat metaphorical. The word, flesh, refers to the soft substance consisting of muscle and fat that is found between the skin and bones of an animal or a human. In this context, experiencing something in one's own flesh emphasizes a direct and tangible experience. It's often used in scenarios where someone personally undergoes something, especially hardships or challenges. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples. 1. After years of studying about poverty, she finally understood its harsh reality in her own flesh when she volunteered in the slums. 2. Here, in her own flesh, means she experienced the reality of poverty directly. 3. He always thought marathon running was easy, but he learned the challenge in his own flesh after participating in one. 4. This shows a personal experience changing someone's perspective. It's important not to confuse, in one's own flesh, with similar sounding phrases like, in the flesh, which means in person, physically present. Remember, in one's own flesh, is about personal, often physical experience of something. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, in one's own flesh, and you feel confident using it in your conversations. Remember, language learning is all about understanding the nuances of phrases like these. Keep practicing, and you'll be a pro in no time. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.